Hey guys, so I'm back with a brand new video and today I'm going to be doing something totally different and I'm going to show you how to get silver hair without even dyeing your hair. So, a lot of you out there may have just been wondering like, you know, I want to try that whole silver hair thing. Well, I found this product that kept popping up on my feed and uh, I thought why not give it a try and it came all the way from Japan and it's this little bad boy right here. I have no idea what it's called because I do not speak the language. It's everywhere here. Here, it doesn't actually say what the company is, the brand, but it does say Ash. I got the Ash one, not the white one, because Ash is what's going to make your silver. And this is what I got. I think I paid five dollars for it with free shipping. So opening the little package up and the product inside in this little gray container. So this is what it's like. I have tried this a few times, but with not like fresh hair, so I feel like with fresh hair I'll probably get a better result and it looks like this And uh, it's already very sticky. I've kept the lid on it um, Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash my hair so it's fresh and uh, I'm gonna apply it for y'all on here and uh, You can see what it's like and how I can blend it from this tone to an ashy gray. Hey guys, I'm back and this is what my hair looks like all out the shower, all washed. It's a mess. Uh, so basically, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna style it with my long hair and tomorrow I'm getting a haircut. So I will do it again tomorrow and I can show you the side-by-side -side comparison of what it looks like with longer hair versus shorter hair. So I have my mirror right in front of me. I'm just gonna so I have my mirror in front of me. I'm going to use this product and uh, this will be a side by side of long hair versus short hair. So you will see the before and after of this. So basically this is what it looks like for my longer hair and this is what I could do with it. Unfortunately my hair is a bit weird with this kind of wax that it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't style well. I don't know why but it's very, I probably wouldn't wear it out but I feel like when my hair is cut and it's shorter it is definitely more manageable but literally though it really does come across grey especially in photos but I'm not sure if I'd wear this out but you know, it's a cheaper alternative. You want to like mix it up, do a little photo shoot where you wanted silver hair, or just go out and have a fun time. So uh, yeah, the best way to blend it was with this uh, this comb. So you'd like back comb it a little bit, and then it kind of fades into your natural like hair color, and uh, that's how I made it look almost realistic. The worst part is the back of your head. You can't use this product on the back of your head uh, without a mirror. So. That's one thing you should do, and uh, yeah, uh, it went on my hands, but it comes off straight away. So, like, I washed it with soap, came off. There's gonna be bits on your forehead and uh, your ears, so make sure to clean them off. So, if you do go out, you don't want to have silver on your ears or your forehead, because that would be a mess. So. Hey guys, basically, I got my hair cut, so we're going to do part two, where this is basically me doing a short hairstyle with the gray clay hair wax thing yes in ash and we are going to just uh, see if it works better on shorter hair pretty much let's get into it I have my comb I have everything else I need let's just hope this goes better
So this is it. This is the finished look. It's like really silver. It is uh, amazing on short hair, long hair. You're gonna have a really tough time with this. But it's like, from like when the lights aren't on, it's dark gray, which is nice because it looks very natural in, in the, the camera. Uh, in person, it actually looks better on short hair. So it's got that glow. It's got like a little sheen to like my natural hair color there. And uh, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it for short hair. Definitely not long hair. Uh, what I've learned is this does not look good for long hair. If you have long hair, I'd avoid it. If you have short hair, like just freshly cut hair, so good. Like I give this product, you know, a good five out of five for short hair. Like they've really invented something really cool. I haven't seen anything like this in London. Uh, I haven't seen this in any stores. So for a hair wax, which is easy to put in, I have some methods that makes it blends easier by using a comb that you don't mind destroying, just buy a fresh one. If you like tease it out almost, it blends in and it's not matted and it's more finer. Like the sides might have a few little tricks, like going like for here so you don't get it. It's just brush it upwards and it kind of, it blends it in, it fades. So it looks really natural. <laughs> this is more of a natural, I'm just going gray look, you know. Uh, hashtag call me daddy, uh, you know, that kind of look. So if you want this, I recommend getting it. I paid like $4 and uh, it's a fun product for a night out or something and it washes out really easily. And you know, it doesn't make your hair feel any weird. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed how to get your hair silver without having the commitment of dyeing it. And if you're scared of bleaching your hair, this is the perfect way to do it. So this is it. And thank you guys so much. If you want to see more of these type of videos, make sure to leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite color is and maybe uh, suggest a color for me to do. I think this comes in seven more colors. So suggest a color and uh, I'll see if they have it and maybe I'll get it if it's demanded. So yeah thank you so much make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more content and thank you guys so much for the support i hope you have an awesome day wherever you may be and uh, thank you very much bye bye